So in 83, I finally got a visa to come with my youngest son because I couldn't get a visa to bring both of them. So the initial goal uh, for coming in 1983 was to come join, first of all, my husband, family unification, and, and then secondly, uh, to continue with my own education. Because I, I experienced uh, domestic violence and in the process, uh, my, um, husb my husband at the time uh, withdrew his sponsorship of my, uh, for my education at Iowa State. Uh, as a result, I was left stranded and I had a child that I had to take care of and I had to find a means uh, since I wasn't yet a citizen of the United States. Uh, that posed a big challenge for me. There was a, a, a bad at women's shelter, so that's where I ended up, and uh, that's where my life really started and, and took off. There wasn't any help for an immigrant like myself and my son, and so Len uh, decided to share my story with the then uh, director, you know, the chair of the a board of directors of the uh, of the battered women's shelter at the time in Ames, uh, Miss. At the time, I didn't even know she was Dr. Judy Collins. I just knew her as Judy. She was very generous with her time. She listened to my story, and she uh, she said, "I'm not making any promises, Jane, but you understand that your story is very dear to my heart, and I'm going to try to do." my best to help you. And so Judy then uh, proceeded to um, uh, contact her friends. I was very, very, very fortunate to have been in the shelter and to have been exposed to Dr. Judy Colling, uh, who then took my story and made it into what it is today, uh, really, because without her, there would have been no undergraduate. Without her, there would have been definitely no masters. And without her, there would have been no doctrine. And so now today, I stood here as Dr. Jane Adjuman. At one time, I had five jobs. And, uh, and it, with a maximum uh, uh, gross salary of $300, I mean, from five jobs. What the TRIO Upward Bound Program and, and Talent Search Programs do is we seek out low-income households where um, neither parent has a four-year college degree and then me and my staff go out uh, and visit them in the schools. Both of my TRIO programs, Upward Bound and Talent Search, have uh, enjoyed a 100% success rate. And so every child that we have touched has gone on to be it a community college, uh, even a one year uh, carpentry program. The essence is that we're trying to get them to ex extend their education and extend their opportunities at life so that we can circumvent the cycle of poverty. What I strongly feel is that immigrants should not sit back and think that this is not affecting me. Getting involved at the local level, uh, my experience is that it's the, more, the closer you are to the policy makers, to the, uh, uh, getting engaged in the discussion, in the dialogue, being engaged in the dialogue as it comes along, sharing your experiences, having as many people exposed to the good deeds like you're doing right now, having people exposed to what immigrants in our local communities are doing. They are not to be seen as the enemy. They are not to be seen here. We're not coming to take anybody's job. We're not going to be, I mean, I will be the last person to take somebody's job.